So let's move on. So that's on A. Let's take a look at this. Why does the boy story max? So I'm going to go through each one of this so you, you can just understand and think of this logically. I don't know which was your answer, but we're going to go through that. Well, heck, all I'm doing is copying J.K. Rowling's story. I mean, she's a billionaire. I'm just a, oh, gosh, I'm a, I'm a leech. I have to be just leeching off the system. I'm just changing my story and trying to ride on the coattails of her success, obviously, right? So let's take a look at possibly if that is a possibility. So let's just go with the first one. Who likes math? Did I lose any of you? I probably did. <laughs> did I lose some of you? I hopefully did. Oh my gosh, math. You hate math. Okay, some of you do like math. I like math because math is very logical. So I'm going to ask you a very simple math question. Please stick along, uh, hang around here. If you've already checked out, you've checked out. Nope, this guy's bull BS, lying to us, whatever. Just turn off. Okay, but I'm going to go through everything, and I promise you by the end of this video, I'm going to explain to you what is the real answer. Okay, and it may not be the answer you think it is. All right, so who likes math? Now, math. I'm going to ask you a math question. You don't have to actually type this in, but I want you to put a mental note of which is the correct answer. All right. Question one, which number comes before the other number? Ready? A or B? Which number comes before the other number? Hmm. A or B? Simple question. It's not a trick question. All right. Let's do that again. Which number comes before the other number? Hopefully you've been paying attention so you know what I'm referencing. 1992 versus 1997. Why am I saying that? Because I already said this before. This is my life from 1983 to 1992. She published her book from 97 to 2007. Okay? Five years after my life, this book gets published. All right. Now, and then if you look, number one, it's documented. 1984, four, three, sorry, 1983. My father and my par my parents were both written up in the Smithsonian for creating the they they, they were magicians. <laughs> they were magicians. And they've been written up in the Smithsonian. You can look this up. Go ahead. Disco blasting robot waiters of nineteen eighty Pasadena. Smithsonian. Look it up. Google it. Alright? That's my father there with these robot waiters. That's a whole nother story. I'll talk about that stuff later, okay? They were magicians. And then in 1992, I was doing the 44th annual Los Angeles Emmy Awards, other stuff as well. That's just me with Denise, uh, with the executive producer of the L Emmy Awards that year, Charles Lang, okay? You see us holding up a little brochure, pamphlet. We're out there in the lobby. That's us. That's when my story ends. Five years later, Harry Potter comes out, okay? Let's take a look over there. It says... Philosopher's Stone, 1997, over to the right. Finished book. Uh, finished the book in 2007. So again, which story, <laughs> right? That's in 2007. You understand basic math, right? It's impossible for someone to copy someone else's story that happens in the future, unless you know I have a time machine or something like that. All right. So let's just go with that. All right. So, uh, so which set of numbers uh, years come before the other set of years? Right. It's impossible that one year is before the other. I'm A. Rawling is B. That's it. All right. So that's it on that one. Uh, the cop. Uh, I'm co basically copying Rawling's story or her 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 success. Okay. That's for those people that answered that one. All right. I'd like to kind of go over uh, the. The pop, uh, another question to you. I'm going to give you a second chance. And the reason I'm not giving you a second chance is just because a second chance. You've already answered the question once. But it's almost like playing poker. When you play poker, I don't know if any of you guys play poker. But when you play poker, you get a set of cards. Depends on what kind of poker game you're playing. And you have the option, sometimes not text to someone, but you have the option to look at the cards and go, mm, do I want to keep these cards? Or I'm going to give the cards away and take another set of cards okay so if you play poker you understand how that game works so i'm going to give you another option for you to answer again okay so this is question number five 
answer this again. It's your second chance to answer. Now, if you want to stick with your answer, that's okay. Answer it again. So if your first answer was, hey, you know what? You're lying. It's a lie. Boom. It's a lie. That was question A. Uh, number two, right, would be Q2 lie, a lie. And then if you're saying, you know what, after I've heard all this, it's still a lie. Fine. Your Q5 is A again. Okay, that means you stuck with your answer. That's okay. Now, if you want to change your answer, you have the option to change your answer, just like you're playing poker. It's not a big deal. You take your cards, you throw them away, says, you know what, I'm going to take another set of cards. That's okay. So at this point, right now, go ahead and answer again. I'm going to go over the last two. Okay? Second chance. Why does the Boy Wizard story match? Is it A, B, C, D, or A, uh, E? Go ahead. Again, I'm going to give you like five seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Go ahead and write that answer down. I'm not. Don't pause the video. Just type it in. You should be already used to it. Q5, question five, put in your answer. Okay? And don't let other people's answer deter you. Just write your answer down. Just your, And don't write a paragraph of what you think yet. You write comments later. Flame me afterwards later. Okay, that's fine. Okay, great. Hopefully you've done that. All right. So the second time you, you've answered that question, it's either I'm a lie, I'm copying Rowling's story, you're sticking with to it, that's my story, I'm sticking to it, whatever. Uh, <laughs> magicians are not wizards, coincidence based on true events. All right, so let's move on. So.